In this video, I want to show you how to sell a simple one-off product. So let's say you don't want to create any kind of sales funnels, you just want to easily and quickly sell one product, okay? Of course, log into your sales account, go to products, manage, and you'll arrive at this page. Click this one, this button, at new front end. Okay, general settings, product name, give this give your product a name. Let's say that you're in the hypnosis niche and you want to, you're selling a hypnosis home study course. Put the name here and you can put in your product description here. And payment processors, I'm going to choose PayPal standard in this example. So click yes. And then currency is in USD and I want to sell it for let's say a hundred dollars one time. You can also choose recurring if you want. To make this simple, I'm going to select one time for now. And enter your support URL and support email address. This is for when customers have problems, they want to contact you, you can put in your contact info over here. Do you want to allow refund for your product? If yes, then select yes and enter a refund period in number of days. If no, then select no. I'm going to select yes in this example. Do you want to add the customer to your customer auto responder list? After a successful purchase, the person will be added to your customer list. Do you want to build your, your buyer list? If yes, then select yes and paste in your autoresponder code that you get from your email autoresponder service. If you are a Zexa ultimate automation user, then you can select Zexa and then select simply click this get list and it will pull up the, your sequence or list inside your Zexa Ultimate account with, and then you can select which one you want to put that customer into that sequence. Okay, if not then if you're not using Zexa Ultimate then you can simply copy and paste your autoresponder code that you get from your email autoresponder service. I'm going to select no in this example and then go, go to the affiliate program tab do you want to use your affiliate program? If no, then leave it no. If yes, then select yes. And enter the number of days for which you want to delay the commissions. So this means that if you enter 30 days here, it means that the affiliates will not get credited until 30 days from the point of sale. They will not get their commissions until 30 days from the point of sale. Okay, how many if you want to offer commissions? Okay, then what is the percentage of commissions you want to offer affiliate? You can enter 50%, 20%, 10% is up to you. Okay, and then you can enter some custom text over here. And then you go to page settings, enter your sales page URL, your thank you page URL. Thank you page URL means that uh, the page where you want your customers to be redirected to after a, a successful purchase. So where do your customers go after a successful purchase? Where, where do they go to download your product? Right, enter the thank you page URL here. One time offer, you don't want to use that. Because we are in this example, I'm just going to show you how to create a, when you, how to create a one-off product where you only sell one product without any sales follows. Okay. And then after that, you just need to click Save Changes. Okay, it says that the product has been updated, but the product has not been published yet. You can publish this product by clicking the Go Live button at the bottom of this page. Scroll down and go to Go Live slash Publish. And make sure that you agree to our acceptable use policy. Click this. Clicking this link will open a new window, so please read that carefully. And after, if you agree, then you can select yes and click publish my product now. And then it says that your product has been successfully published, you can start selling this product immediately. Okay, let's say the order button. We need to get the order button. We click here and we give you a variety of options to choose from you can choose from uh, big medium and small order buttons and a few designs to choose from let's say i want to use the, this design <coughs> all i need to do is just copy this code 
paste it on my website where I want the other button to appear since a lot of users use WordPress uh, for their websites. I'm going to use WordPress as an, as an example here. So let's say that this is a this is a WordPress page and let's say you have all the content here and you want to insert the other button here, at, right? So you just need to click enter once and then go to uh, this text tab and this is the end of the content, right? So you hit enter twice and then just paste it over here. So sorry, let me copy this and paste it over here. Once I'm done, I go to the visual tab to preview what the other button looks like. Okay, so you can see it looks like this, exactly the same as this one. And I need to click this and center align this and then I hit update. And let's see what this page looks like. Okay, assuming this is your sales page content and there you go, people can click this link and go to your checkout page. Let's just click this link and see what it looks like. There you go. Okay. So it's very easy and self-explanatory. And of course the affiliate page, since you have activated the affiliate program, then affiliate page URL is this one. You can simply give your affiliates this URL. Let's view this and they will see something like this.